Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and I'm from the Air Rivers Trust and today we are using the river table to show you the processes that create meanders, which are a feature of erosion and deposition. Before we can reach a meander, we have to start somewhere, and this is at the source, which is located in the uppermost part of the catchment, usually at the higher parts of a hill or a mountain. For today, let's imagine that the pump is the source of the river, that's where the rainwater will fall into. As water flows downstream, sediment is transported via various different processes. These can be traction, saltation, solution and suspension. The smaller particles need less energy to move and therefore can be transported easier but larger sediment requires more energy. Arriving at the middle course of the river, this is where you expect to find meanders. Instead of having typical vertical erosion, it is replaced by a sideways form called lateral erosion and deposition also occurs here. You can see with the sediment that the outside of the meander is going faster and therefore more erosion will occur here but the inside is slower and therefore more deposition occurs here due to the weight of the sediment being more than the energy of the water carrying it. Meanders are a common feature of many different rivers, for example the Amazon. But we also have some in the river air which is more close to home. Thanks for listening everyone.